Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Nickel Para Volume 4. Shigure shows Coconut the camera's LCD display. Yeah, it's all thanks to you guys. Dad says as he reaches over to the cake he left on his plate. お茶。Yeah, you're both good girls. Aha, thanks. You can't see my tear streaks in the printed photo? It's clean? That's Shigure for you, a real pro. Aw, oh, dang it. Prediction of, of grandmother peering didn't come true, you know, to their house. But probably to the patisserie. After leaving the Minaduki house, I returned to La Salio. Yeah, I bet. Due to it still being Christmas Eve, the main street on the way back was bustling. I've been busy since this morning and I do feel pretty exhausted, but my exhilaration is getting the better of me, so I'm still not sleepy. I prepared some hot cocoa and chat with chocolate and vanilla. They were. I'm glad I put in the work. Appreciate it. What's that? Well, I can't really say that for certain since it's my dad's private thoughts, but I feel like past me would have thought only of himself. Uh, yeah, but I wasn't able to focus on the stuff with Dad. Haha, <laughs> I was demanding things out of my dad with no regard for him, like a child begging. If I just tried to put myself in my dad's shoes, I would have realized how terribly unreasonable I was being. I was raised to be the heir to a Japanese pastry shop, but I proposed that I'd be a Western pastry chef and basically demanded he say that what I made was good. It's a natural desire to say your food is so good that you don't even need to eat it to know, no matter what it may taste like. I need to put myself in people's shoes more often. A one-sided push for putting smiles on people's faces doesn't really make sense. No, that's not right. You and the others were the ones who taught me this. Oh, 
Uh, I wouldn't take it that far. But you guys are always considering things from my perspective. Even on the night we got back to Japan, you guys had dinner all ready for us. Miso soup, pickled vegetables, the works. <laughs> I'm not just talking about that night either. I mean, all the times in the past, too. Sure, you guys didn't nail it every time, but you did try to consider my feelings. Compared to all of you guys, I've been nothing but a kid thinking about himself. Yeah, y'all taught me a lot. Hmm, you've never been explicitly told, okay, let's consider others' feelings since childhood, have you? But in the truest sense, you never know what someone else is feeling. Even if you try to give it consideration, you don't know if you're right or not. There are a lot of times where you think you're being considerate, but you're actually just interpreting things in a way convenient to yourself, right? Yep, that is what a lot of people do. Or where you end up labeling someone as impossible to understand. Being able to consider things from their point of view, it isn't a skill you pick up through practice. It's a matter of personality, character if you will. It's just like there's no kid in existence that gets told to be an adult and just suddenly becomes one. I think what I needed was growth on a mental level. And to make sure they didn't impede my journey, neither my mentor nor my father told me what it was I needed in the first place. Not saying anything in waiting is part of the teaching process. I feel like that's another thing I've learned coming out of this. <laughs> Haha, uh -huh, yeah. I'm not the best at voicing my thoughts, so maybe I didn't do a good enough job explaining. I think I'm pretty similar to Dad in that regard. According to my mentor, my grandfather wasn't the most articulate man on earth either. I smile awkwardly, blaming my traits on lineage. ところでですね。ご主人様。いや、大人な書庫だとしては、ずっとずっと我慢していたことがあるのですが。ご主人、感謝は言葉だけ。他のご褒美も期待したい。A uh, reward? What reward? Oh, that reward. Some love reward. Oh. Some other form of reward? But I don't have anything prepared. Which is pathetic considering it's Christmas of all days. My plan was to bake some financier in the middle of the night, but I'm not sure if I can do that without being found out. <laughs> Santa-san,からご主人にプレゼント。プレゼントはショコラたちです。やった。あ、あ、あ、that's what you meant. Oh my, it is the love reward. Cat girl's love reward. Present. ずっと大変だった。無理にとは言わない。Right, ever since mom's birthday I've had a lot on my plate, and I haven't had any time to myself. That's no way to treat my cat panions. I'm sorry, I'll give you both as much attention as you need tonight. Yeah, it sure is going to be busy. There'll be a ton of customers on Christmas Day too. But I've been holding out myself, you know. There's a rattle at the door, followed by it opening. Oh no! Oh no! 
Startled, I look in that direction to find. Uh oh. Uh oh. Huh. What? what you, you, you weren't at home? What happened? Oh. Sorry, I care about all of you very much. Would y'all mind doing it together? My last, what does that mean? Wow. So, that was the love reward from the cat girls. Ooh la la. So, I'm going to end the episode here, everybody, for Negopara Volume 4, where the cat girls all had some love time. If you guys enjoyed this episode, then please smash that like button, subscribe down below for more awesome videos, don't forget to ring that little bell to get notifications of my uploads. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, and you guys will hear me in the next video. Goodbye!